One common theme that a lot of online games have that most of the fan base don't particularly care for, except for maybe the Wells that have tons of money and don't really care one way or the other, is the fact that eventually in an online game, if it's not the beginning, there will be even more expensive items added down the road. Grand Theft Auto Online is no exception. There's definitely plenty of items that they've added over the past five years that have ridiculous price tags. Some are reasonable, others not so much. Now, in my most recent video, Future RC Ideas, which we talked about the RC Bandito, as well as ideas for future RC vehicles that could eventually be added to Grand Theft Auto Online, El Davo, one of our members, had this to say. Now, more than five years after the start of Grand Theft Auto V, a toy car costs $1.59 million. Pathetic. Which begs the question that many have been asking and pondering, is the RC Bandito too expensive? So what we're going to do is we're going to go over the price tags in the game, how much it's going to cost to purchase the RC Bandito, as well as even some real-life counterparts. First off, for those of you that are on the fence about the RC Bandito, yeah, it's not cheap. It's going to cost you a few bucks. First off, you will need the Arena Workshop. Just the base model, no upgrades, no customization. Just the Arena Workshop itself at Maze Bank Arena is $995,000, just under a million bucks. You have to have the Arena Workshop in order to be able to purchase and customize the RC Bandito. So the RC Bandito itself, the base model, is roughly $1.6 million. So you add the cost of the Arena Workshop to the cost for the RC Bandito, you will get approximately $2.6 million. And that's just for the base version of the RC Bandito. That does not include the upgrades that you're gonna need, like a 100% jump boost, which I highly recommend, the ability for it to have a mine, whether kinetic or EMP, or even a remote bomb, uh, some of the various lid options, wheel options, etc. So, yeah, the RC Bandito is expensive. Now, if we go with shark cards to do a comparison between Grand Theft Auto money and quote unquote real money, specifically US dollars, that's what we're going to stick with because that's what I know best. So $2.6 million, which is, as we mentioned, the combined cost for the Arena Workshop as well as a base version of the RC Bandito equates to two Great White Shark cards. A Great White Shark card is in-game currency $1.25 million, and it's about $20 US for a Great White Shark card. So two Great White Shark cards, $40, that's going to get you two and a half million dollars. You're also going to need one red shark card, which is the cheapest of the shark cards. It'll get you a hundred thousand dollars in game currency and costs three dollars US. So you combine the price tags for the two great white shark cards with the red shark card that is forty three dollars US. Now I'm not advocating shark cards, I'm just using it as a comparison between Grand Theft Auto currency and real life money. Speaking of things real life, going over to Amazon.com and no, Bezos is not sponsoring this video. I mean, he can if he wants to, but I don't see that happening. Anyways, if you type up RC cars, you're gonna get a wide variety of price tags because RC vehicles, like so many other products out there, depend on quality. You can get a cheap one for probably about 20 bucks, but there are RC cars that are way more expensive than these, which I'll show you in just a moment. So you got a couple that are like $115, $80, uh, $46. This one right here basically costs about the same as it would for a base version of the RC Bandito on top of the Arena Workshop. So right there, relatively average. And as you can tell, there's cheaper ones like this one for $18 US, $73 for this RC car. But believe it or not, there's actually more expensive ones. Yes, more expensive than $370. 
I present to you the Traxxas 8S X Max four wheel drive brushless electric monster RTR truck. This thing is an RC car, and it can be yours for the very, very low price of $900 US. That's right. And it's also possible that there may be RC vehicles that cost more than the Traxxas. I could be wrong, but we'll just go with the Traxxas for now as the you know upscale, luxurious, top of the line RC vehicle, courtesy of amazon.com that you could purchase with $900 real life money. Now, some of you may be wondering, well, Go Burns, what is $900 in Grand Theft Auto Online? Funny you should ask. $100 in real life money equals one Megalodon shark card. And the Megalodon shark card will give you $8 million of in-game currency in Grand Theft Auto Online. The price tag for the Traxxas RC car, if it was hypothetically in Grand Theft Auto Online, going with real life price to what it would cost you in Grand Theft Auto Online, nine Megalodon shark cards, $8 million each, equals $72 million. Bear in mind, the Traxxas, unlike the RC Bandito, doesn't have any mines or the ability to jump our armor where it can take a lot of bullets and a couple explosions from tanks and it doesn't have the ability to detonate so yeah Traxxas in real life way more expensive than Grand Theft Auto Online's RC Bandito like I said the RC Bandito still is expensive but there are more expensive and way more useless things in Grand Theft Auto Online. A few examples. The Swift Deluxe Helicopter, $5.1 million. The Luxor Deluxe Private Golden Jet. Both these vehicles, by the way, from Ill-Gotten Gains Part 1. The Luxor Deluxe, $10 million. Then the yachts. The cheapest one, the Orion, $6 million. The Pisces, $7 million. And the most expensive yacht, the Aquarius yacht, $8 million, which does not include the additional upgrades and customization you can do to those yachts. Overall, the yachts, the uh, Swift Deluxe, along with the Luxor Deluxe, way more expensive than the RC Bandito. But in my opinion, the RC Bandito is way more fun. Now, one more example I want to throw out there real quick is a vehicle that is technically cheaper than the RC Bandito, the HVY Dump. It's only a million dollars, but it's not nearly as fun as the RC Bandito. In the end, what it really comes down to is how much money you have and how much money you're willing to spend and whether or not the RC Bandito is fun to you because what's fun to you may not be fun to somebody else. To me, I enjoy being able to transform into the RC Bandito, driving around Los Santos and Blaine County, trying to get up Mount Chiliad with the Bandito, as well as on occasion using the EMP bombs, getting into little skirmishes with the uh, LSPD while they try in vain to destroy the Bandito. It does take a lot of damage. It's very well armored for a little RC car. Way more armored than some of the quote-unquote armored cars in Grand Theft Auto Online. Could the RC Bandito have been a little bit cheaper? Because yes, there are sports cars and supercars and muscle cars that still come out with a lower price tag. Some of those supercars come out with a higher price tag, by the way. Yeah, the RC Bandito could have had a lower price tag. But the reality is, it doesn't. And eventually, if you just want to wait, Rockstar will probably do a sell on the RC Bandito somewhere down the road, probably a 20%, 25%, maybe one day a 50% discount on the RC Bandito. You will probably see our first discount on it in a few months from now. So if you want to wait before you get the RC Bandito, you want to save a few bucks, then at the very least, you can race around with the RC Bandito, a base version for free, and the brand new RC races. 
Now that we've gone over all the facts, the figures, and the numbers, I want to know what you think, especially those of you that have bought the RC Bandito. In your opinion, was it worth buying the RC Bandito? Are you still enjoying the RC Bandito? And is it about right price tag wise, or is it in fact too expensive? Feel free and chime in below in the comments section.